What is the one thing you would like for Christmas this year? I'd say a trip to somewhere beautiful and tropical, but we're already here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're here for the screening of season three, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. And would you believe Prime Video have trusted us to speak to the stars? They do say that you should never work with animals, children, or your new husband. John and Michael, welcome to Sydney. It is an honor to have you here. What would you say are your favorite things to do whilst you guys are in town? You've been I, here for about six hours. So <laughs> exactly. I'm waking up. Waking up is, is yeah. really, it's a good start for me. I have seen uh, some very stunning photos of you with your shirt off out on a boat. Yeah, that Look. was shocking. <laughs> I just found it? out about that today. So thank you for terrifying me. It was terrifying. Uh, no, it was beautiful. But what I wanted to say is it looks like you've been keeping up the gym prep for your role. Oh, thank you. What other preparation have you been doing for Jack Ryan? Getting in shape for Jack Ryan was a big deal from quarantine. That was when we were just locked in and I think I was eating microwave popcorn for <laughs> nine months straight. Have you had to spend time with CIA agents or like behind the scenes to kind of get a real feel for what that all looks like? Yeah, from season one, the CIA has been unbelievably supportive as far as <laughs> allowing us uh, access to information as far as what we're wanting to deal with in the seasons and, and what we're talking about, making sure we don't sound like total morons and it's actually um, accurate to how they operate. Do you think it helped or hindered your preparation for the role? Like I imagine you're meeting these like seven foot Adonises that have been carved out of marble. Is that what it was <laughs> like? They wanted more of the average guy. We fit the bill, perfect. Yeah. Do you do all your own stunts in the show? I actually do most of them, fortunately and unfortunately, because we're like little <laughs> kids. As soon as we see what they're doing, we're like, can we give it a try? And then we're always like, it's not yeah. that high. Yeah, it's exactly. not that high. When, when you're you in mid air, you go, oh, it is that high. <laughs> Got it. Would you have any advice for a husband and wife duo working together in this industry? It actually ended up being the greatest experience of my career. I, I've never had someone as a better collaborator. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I've never had a better collaborator than my wife. All we do is bicker in the car right on the way here. Yeah, but get that yeah, out of the way. Get, get that out of the way before you get here. In this season, you're on the other side of the law. You're a fugitive in this. What was it like playing that side and you know having to try and navigate going from being a goodie to potentially a baddie? Wow, I like that. I've never played a villain before, but now I feel like I have. The first season, you know, my nickname was a Boy Scout. You know, Greer called this character a Boy Scout because he was looking at everything as black and white. In season two, Greer showed me that everything's actually more in the gray. He shows him that life's living in the gray. And so season three for me was really fun because you get to see this third phase of Jack, which is he's taking everything into his own hands. He doesn't know who he can trust. And when they told me that the idea would be the CIA is the one hunting Jack Ryan in the season, I was like, come on, it doesn't get much better than that. That was awesome. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Congratulations on season three. Oh. No, it's not about hey, us. I mean, that's a real meet? notch in the belt to be on congratulated. Just, Were you co-host? We met on a show called uh, called The Bachelor. You may have heard it before. Yeah, he was The Bachelor and Stop then he it. chose no. me and we got married and had babies. You're kidding. No, it happened. It was crazy. First time on the carpet together. Fantastic. That's awesome. Then come on.